today i'll be showing you oh sorry guys sorry so yeah today i'll be showing you how i model this purifier even if you are a beginner don't worry about it you will understand the process so let's get started i don't want to talk too much yeah let's go okay open up your blender and drag this cube beside that we're gonna be using and press numpad 1 to change the viewport so now we will need some reference I download these three images from me company press shift A go to image and reference and select those three images so after importing the three images bring back the cube by pressing shift S and select two cursor dragging one image which is this one the asymmetrical image and now the first step is we're gonna make the shapes of the object now press tab and make sure to select this vertex selection and press A and then we're gonna scale it up by pressing S and drag it and while dragging press the middle mouse button and so you can see and now we're gonna make the height more taller so press S again and press middle mouse button and drag it up congratulations now you have finished the first step and in the second step we're gonna make it curvy so we're gonna curve the four sides by using tool called bevel as you can see in this picture the edge is not sharp so we're gonna curve it like this okay like before curving up now I'm gonna split two screens because the second screen will be my reference so yeah And now select the cube and press tab and select all the edges. And after selecting the edges, now we can bevel it. So I usually use shortcut by pressing Ctrl B. So now you can see the edge is changing, but something is not right that we didn't get the result what we want. So no need to worry about it. Just go to bevel by clicking here and increase the segment. And voila as you can see so we get the curvy look but it's not smooth so right click and say it's smooth yeah it's terrible but we can fix it so go to vertex group and click to normal and auto smooth so now I'm gonna be deleting the upper face by pressing tab and select the face and delete and now the upper part so as you can see kind of thickness but it's quite thin yeah first I'm gonna be making the thickness and then I'll be making the grill the grill part is gonna be one of my favorite part it's easy even you guys gonna amaze that how easy it is so continue we're gonna select the edge by clicking alt left mouse button and now we're gonna use a different tool called extrude extrude is like making another extra line I don't know how to explain but you can see in this video like how it works so I usually use in the shortcut by pressing E even you can use uh, in the sidebar you can see so like after selecting all the edges i'll be use shortcut by pressing e it extrude 
we don't want to extrude it up so press s once you satisfy with your extrude apply by clicking left click now next step is we're gonna make a grill so press shift a and go to mess and plan go to edit mode and adjust the shape of the plane after that add a cylinder Now select the plane and go to modifier, add boolean modifier. Press this dropper icon and target to cylinder. And after that, drag it down a little bit like this and go to object properties and you can see viewport display and change display has bounce. And after that you can delete the cylinder, the previous cylinder. Now let's add some thickness by using solidify modifier. And the next step is we're gonna make a grill so add a cylinder and scale it down a little bit like this now it's time to add the grills before you adding the grills make sure shade smooth and auto smooth and press tab to go to edit mode and make sure to select the face mode and then select two face and after that we will be using a shortcut keys that is Ctrl Shift and Numpad Plus and press again and again and again forever. So you don't need to worry about like changing the viewport and clicking its individual faces. So all I have to say is use shortcuts. So now the extra part. So we will be selecting the fourth one and then extrude. After that, uh, I add some circles to make a ring. There's a two ring in the model, as you can see here. Just a small reminder, guys. Um, my ring might be bigger and thicker compared to this picture. Wait, what? <laughs> what I mean is, guys, compared to the picture, it, it will be different and. I'm just teaching like how the tools work so now we're gonna make a button and make a hole here like as you can see in this picture so I'll be fast forwarding this part because you guys already know how to make a hole so yeah So after this, we're gonna make the button, so add a circle, scale it down, press tab, E for extrude, extrude again, S to scale it down a little bit, extrude again, press S, and press F to respect, I mean press F to make a face, yeah. And after that, we're gonna make a lip, as you can see here, like the circle. And anyway guys, this picture is rendered in EB, not cycles. Okay, so press I and move a little bit and after that we're gonna make the lip so make sure to select the face selection tool and then press Alt and click to select edge loop and extrude and now you're done 
and now it's for the screen even this one is like the things we used to do in the previous part like add a circle turn 90 degree angle scale it down a little bit extrude and after that use the boolean modifier and that's it done So right now we're gonna make the holes as you can see this one and after this we're gonna make a stain so before we start here's the homework for you guys that you have to make this cover with your own okay let's roll all right now add a circle and place it to the left corner and duplicate again for the upper one So now we are duplicating for these three circles, one is slightly bigger, one is smaller, and then one is tiny. So we're gonna use a modifier called the array modifier, so how it works. So it works like creating an array of copies of best object. So in this part you will know how it works so just watch what I'm doing. So another homo for you guys that try to create these holes for each side with using boolean modifier and try to save the files before it crashes. That's it. So in this part I won't be talking too much so just watch the video and follow the steps and in this part I'll be using proportional editing tool and mirror modifier. So yeah just watch and see.
So congratulations guys you have reached till the end and I'm really sorry that I didn't teach you the setting part but no worries guys I will make another modeling tutorial in that tutorial I'll teach you how the material works and I'm sure I'm gonna make a setting tutorial on that video before ending this video guys I'll be showing you a trailer for the next tutorial and make sure to like and share Please hit 30 likes for the YouTube algorithm guys. It means a lot for me. And I guess that's all it. So here's a trailer for the next tutorial.